Hello guys, it's Remus here bringing you a video about Rel. So she is the new support, tanky support champion that's going to be added tomorrow on the PV. We got the reveal of her abilities just out of the blue like this. Well, we knew on the launcher that we're going to get her, but we didn't know how she's going to be. But I was quite right when I said that maybe she's going to have a mount because they said in the roadmap that she's going to mount a quick retreat and also that she's really good against armor, so... Take a look at the abilities here real quick and then I'm going to talk a bit more about them and try to explain them to you since she seems quite interesting and a little bit complicated too, so pretty cool. Take a look and then we're going to talk about the abilities even more. So passive breaks the mold. She attacks very slowly but temporarily steals a portion of the target's armor and magic resist to deal bonus damage based on the amount stolen. Additionally, Rel can siphon resistances from multiple different foes to grow extremely tanky. So each time she attacks an enemy champion with an auto attack, she steals some of their armor and magic resist, meaning that they get also reduced armor and magic resist and she gains that, so she's going to stack incredibly well in team fights, especially against tanky champions if it's a percentage. If you do that against a super tanky guy with, imagine he auto-attacking Ramus and you steal like 20% of their armor, it's going to be huge compared to just stealing it from Mage. So she's going to be really good in teamfights. If she manages to land an auto-attack on every champion, she's going to have a huge amount of armor and magic resist. Then her Q, the Shattering Strike, she stabs forward with her lens, breaking any shields and damaging all enemies hit and the damage decreases after the first target. And if Rel has an ally bound with E, Attract and Repel, she and that ally recover health for each champion hit with this ability. So this also heals and also breaks shields, which would be pretty damn interesting against a lot of supports and tanks that have shields. Just imagine completely deleting their shield. Then the W is pretty damn complicated and it has two casts. So the first one can only be cast while mounted and she rips into the sky and transforms her mount into heavy armor, gaining a huge shield that lasts until destroyed or remounting, and upon landing she knocks up all enemies around her, and Rel can cast E and R during this transformation as well. And she has increased durability, low movement speed and the movement speed cap while in armor form. And after the transformation, this ability changes to the mount up, so the W, the second W. <laughs> I told you she's going to be a literal tank. And this one, the second dagger value, can only be casted while she's in the armor form, so while she's a tank, and she rushes forward and transforms her armor into a mount, gaining a burst of movement speed. During the next attack, she charges her target to deal bonus damage and flip them over her shoulder. Rel has increased movement speed while mounted, and after the transformation, this ability changes back to the first W. Next, the E attract and repel. Rel magnetically binds a piece of her armor to target allied champion granting them bonus armor and magic resist while they are nearby. Rel can recast this ability to break the bind and stun all enemies around them, so all of them will be stunned if they're around her or around the bound allies, so this is pretty damn cool. And it's around and between, so I guess that line you see there also will stun, which is pretty damn cool. And imagine the armor and magic resist they get if you also do the auto attacks on enemy champions before doing this. And the ultimate Magnetic Storm repels in Magnific Fury, yanking nearby enemies towards her. She then creates a gravitational field around her, pulling nearby enemies in for a few seconds. The field doesn't interrupt her enemies' other actions. So you can pull them, and you can pull multiple ones, so you can just pull them into your tower or into your teamfight, but it doesn't interrupt their cast, so say you pull Nunu while casting the ultimate or something like that, or Fiddlesticks while in the ultimate, and that probably won't interrupt their abilities. And that's about it for Rel, we also had the flash art and we have some champion insights which is pretty damn cool, so take a look at this and read it. Really damn interesting champion, let me know what you think about her, I honestly expected to be a literal tank, but <laughs> cool that we got an armored lady on a mount. So yeah, we'll see her tomorrow on the PvE when I'm going to do the full spotlight along with any other new things we get tomorrow like the new skins. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think about Rel and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.